to the showcase video. My name is Guy Bartram. I'm the Director of Product Marketing at VMware for our Cloud Provider Business Unit. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Thomas, um, VP and General Manager of EBF. So welcome, Thomas, and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Guy. All right, so Thomas, just tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about e uh, EBF. Whereabouts are you based and, uh, you know, what's your, your kind of geographic coverage? Okay, certainly. So uh, again, as uh, you said, I'm a VP and General Manager of EBF Inc., which is the uh, North American subsidiary of EBF. Um, EBF is a 27-year veteran in the enterprise uh, mobility and security space. So we've been pretty much around as long as uh, the first, so to speak, devices came out where you were able to receive an email and send an email. And we've been able to support uh, traditionally enterprise customers who are, uh, originally deployed these type of technologies to secure those devices. Um, and have uh, since then expanded, of course, as the proliferation of smartphones, tablets, and mobile devices has expanded with uh, various different platforms, as well as the uh, VMware Workspace ONE uh, platform. Uh, in the North American markets, we're uh, headquartered in Los Angeles, California, and um, have uh, coverage throughout the uh, entire continental United States. And uh, from a territory or geography perspective, we cover Canada, US, Mexico, and we also have some uh, business activities in Australia, New Zealand, and South of APJ. Excellent. Thank you, Thomas. It's really interesting. I, I'm just kind of thinking back in my head to when you were first able to get you know, your emails when you were on the move. And I was just thinking I had a Palm Pilot and a, a Nokia GPRS phone, and I could link them together. But fundamentally, the Palm Pilot was the you know the user interface. It was the soft phone type of type of finish. But that was going back some time, and we've seen a lot of complexity. Right? I mean, the number of different combinations of iOS versions out there, hardware versions out there, this presents a significant challenge. I mean, we haven't even started talking about applications yet. Just management of devices themselves. So what are some of the, the challenges your customers face, you know, when it comes to you, where do you kind of typically see most of your challenges that you address uh, in EBF? So uh, that's a very good question. I mean, what we did in order to kind of find our place in this whole complex universe of enterprise mobility security, um, we started um, a series of surveys of about 1200 of our customers across Europe and North America to understand better what is it that our customers want and need and where they're struggling with. Um, and, and one of the things that we very quickly noticed is um, they, first of all, are not quite sure they understand the entire capabilities of any type of platform like VM Workspace One that's out there for end user computing. Um, and uh, when they test uh, those platforms to see if they can meet their use cases, um, they, they don't necessarily have the best experience um, either in, in giving this a, a full test drive, so to speak, or a proof of concept. Again, we, we see that a lot of those organizations have haphazardly or very quickly purchased a platform, uh, deployed a platform, um, and then later they look at other solutions because they feel like this is going to fill a gap when um, after having a second or third look, they have already purchase the technologies necessary in order to, to fill in those use cases, but they just don't understand how to fully utilize what the, what they've uh, purchased and how to put it into action. And um, that kind of leads to, to the next uh, point where they don't necessarily have the licensed and qualified resources. And we're going anywhere from an SMB customer to a large enterprise customers. Those resources that are responsible for managing um, the mobile devices that are very large customer typically wear multiple hats. Um, so even though they spend a third, a half, or maybe less than that, a fraction of their day on managing mobile devices, um, they still are, are not fully 100% dedicated. And therefore, it does come to occasional misses of those organizations as well. Um, plus, as you said, uh, keeping up with the, the latest devices that are out there, the patches, the uh, cyber security risks that are out there as, as hackers are exploiting those devices and are becoming now um, the new entry point for, for attacking an organization, um, it, it leaves our customers quite challenged. And that's what I turn to somebody like us 
that uh, lives and breathes this uh, every day and make sure that we keep track of all the relevant platforms out there and the customers uh, looking to use those uh, in the relevant manner. Yeah, I mean, we've seen in the last, certainly in the last five years, right, the real explosion of devices and uh, especially uh, through the pandemic, uh, remote devices being used pretty much constantly to uh, gain access to corporate systems. And that is, uh, you know, it's a tough job for a customer who's trying to run their business to, you know, they don't want their business to become about managing their mobile devices. That's, that's not a part of the business they need to focus on. And they really need to be able to offload that um that management and security and patching and and really just the life cycle of that to a provider like yourselves right correct yeah i mean that uh, we see that all the time uh, and we want to that's truly our mission we want to help customers get the most out of enterprise mobility and security mm -hmm without having to dedicate a large majority of their business to it as well they most of our customers just want to purchase and manage senior living homes or want to be able to deliver for for one of the e-commerce platforms that are out there they don't necessarily want to learn that oh hey if i deploy this app on this device um i gotta make sure i keep up with the latest uh, software update otherwise my my data is exposed my customer's data is exposed they just want to focus on their core business yeah So tell me about the platform. So you, you you mentioned you know a number of times different sort of platforms being available. What platforms do you use from VMware to help achieve this this um, device mobility, security, and application updates and patching and things like that? Um, our go-to platform from VMware is of course VMware Workspace One and the different variations of it. And uh, we do uh, from time to time also dive into VMware Horizon also to help with the desktop management on there. Right. Also deliver kind of SaaS products and you know product catalogs to the customers through Workspace One. Uh, yes, we do uh, do that. Uh, we offer that as a managed service for a lot of our customers that just want to say, "Hey, this is what I want. Can you deliver this for me?" And if if I need some updates or changes to it, if something's broken, I'll just call you. We certainly do that, and we've also uh, developed some of our own SaaS products. Um, as we evaluated all the different platforms, we do see there are some gaps or functionalities um, that a lot of our customers would like, like a delegated admin or file on-prem access. Um, the biggest one uh, that we've seen a lot of traction with for our customers is uh, our migration tool. Um, very early on when there was a lot of on-prem software and customers wanted to move to in the cloud software, especially in the mobile device management space, um, a lot of customers wanted to change or make some changes from uh, a legacy uh, platform to a more modern platform like VMware Workspace ONE. Um, but change and migration can be very painful, um, especially from the amount of resources that are required um, to move thousands of users from one platform to another and making sure it goes smoothly to tracking. And then uh, the, the biggest one is to make sure that the end users who are the internal customers, so to speak, uh, their day-to-day -day business does not get much disrupted. So we've developed a, uh, a cloud uh, migration tool um, that helps organizations make those migrations for their end users, do it scalable and timely uh, fashion uh, without interrupting the end users. And a lot of times not having to force a device factory reset, which nobody likes for their device <laughs> to, to be wiped in and start over again. So. Yeah, so I mean that's obviously going to be a, a big concern for customers if they're going to come to you, or um, you know, understanding uh, they've got an existing estate of I don't know, mobile sales force today with devices out there, and they're going to need to migrate that to your platform to come under your management, and that can be a big kind of concern to disruption of business uh, and you know onboarding uh, the capabilities to onboard versus the benefits uh, they're going to reap once they're on your platform, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. We've uh, we've been able to to put together a nice uh, device lifecycle management uh, workflow. Where we're able to help customers make a very easy and fast transition and to move forward with uh, focusing on their core business rather than this. Excellent. Excellent. And so, um, how has the partnership with with VMware kind of um, how has it helped you? 
um, manage some of these challenges for your customers and how has it evolved since you've been working with, with Workspace ONE and some of the other solutions? So VMware, especially for us here in the North American market, has been a great partner. Um, we've been working with a lot of the field sales to identify customers that have a need, uh, just like the one that I mentioned, where they're looking to, to take advantage of the latest VMware Workspace ONE offering. Uh, so we have a lot of support from the field sales team that recognize us as a value partner uh, to deliver uh, a lot of benefits to their customers. Uh, plus also with the uh, managed service provider um, and multi-tenancy uh, programs that are available with VMware Workspace ONE, very flexible to offer a lot of solutions and, and kind of like a customized solution to a lot of our customers, which um, no one customer is the same and, and being able to, to tailor, so to speak, an offering around our services with a, a digital workplace solutions like a VMware Workspace One has been very advantageous to us versus some of the other platforms that are out there that are a little bit more rigid. So allowing us to deliver that flexibility has been a great get plus for us and our customers. Excellent. Talking about your customers, is there any kind of specific, I don't have to mention them names, but you know, specific story that you'd like to share with us, which kind of exemplifies some of the value propositions you've talked about? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, speaking from a migration, uh, there were a lot of logos, so to speak, uh, very popular household names, uh, like the National Basketball Association or Estee Lauder that needed a quick transition from legacy systems or third party systems to VMware Workspace ONE. Uh, which we've been able to do um, over the last few years. Um, what we're seeing now as a new trend uh, coming over from our uh, parent organization in Europe, uh, where uh, device subsidy from a mobile carrier um, has long been uh, foregone and individuals are buying devices uh, separate from a mobile or wireless carrier is uh, offering frontline worker bundles as a service. Um, we've seen a lot of our, a lot of customers are now being challenged with uh, uh, distributing smartphones and tablets to their frontline workers, which they have traditionally reserved to more of the knowledge worker, executives, sales, and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. And that all comes with a lot of challenges. Uh, if you're now starting to um, distribute several thousands of, let's say, iPads that have a dollar value of thousand plus dollars. That's first of all a very high capital expense, plus also managing the acquisition, staging, kitting, uh, repairing, managing the trouble tickets once one of those frontline workers come in. Also, uh, the turnover of those frontline workers is much higher, trying to cost justify uh, purchasing a tablet that costs over a thousand dollars for a frontline worker that may only be needed uh, for certain seasons or, or might quit. After, uh, after 12 months before the actual device has been paid off or the mm -hmm. um, RI has been captured. Not even talking about hiring additional resources. Remember earlier I said a lot of our customers don't have the IT resources to even deploy a management solution. That all is very challenging. And, and our customers have come to us and say, hey, uh, we were thinking about rolling out 6,000 iPads to our frontline workers that have been traditionally been running out with pen and paper. Um, but we don't want to do any of it. How do we do that? Um, so uh, we were able to partner up with several organizations to offer a truly and fully device lifecycle management device as a service where we can now, together with VMware Workspace ONE, um, offer that where um, as employees get onboarded, they get a device. Um, if they have a repair or whatnot, they can come to us and we can give them a new device for that. Um, if they leave before the rental term is over, they can return that device with no strings attached whatsoever. So, so fully um, as a service consumable, uh, think of the original Netflix model where you could always have three DVDs and, and send them back as you please without strings attached. And then of course we manage those devices to, to make sure that they're managed on the latest standard with all the policies required by the organization to make sure that happens. Plus, it's also an employee retention and attraction model. I mean, who wouldn't want to work for an organization that gives you a, a brand new tablet? And if you stay long enough for 24 months, you get to keep it as a personal device. So it certainly does have some some new benefits and and being able to piece it all together uh, with a VM Workspace ONE has been a great experience. 
Yeah, that's very unique. And that's going to solve a lot of customer challenges and, and hesitancy to kind of start looking at these things. So, you know, if the business needs iPads in your example to the sales force, um, that expense, if you, if you know you're going to have troubles managing that, that's going to be a, a huge daunting issue to try and uh, try and cross. And it sounds like you guys have so solved that problem and in a very innovative way. So it's fantastic to hear. Um, so let's just, just, um, just take me through, for example, um, the capabilities that you mentioned Workspace One a lot, but for the people not watching this who don't understand what Workspace One is all about, do you want to just kind of dive into some of the high level details and high level uh, capabilities it provides you? Yeah, definitely. So Workspace One is uh, the, the digital platform, cloud platform to manage mobile devices and laptops and desktops. Uh, we, uh, we like it because it's very mature and it's very flexible uh, with regards to the amount of devices um, you're able to manage with Workspace One, also how it ties into Active Directory and some of the other modern workplace management uh, applications that are out there, as well as um, all the other uh, buzz jargons that are out there, like zero trust network access, uh, identity management, um, and uh, as well as secure access uh, service edge as well. Um, it's it's a from my perspective, it's a really great platform that can deliver a lot of the promises that are out there in working remotely and working hybrid and making sure that all the employees, no matter where they are, have a, a great experience in working for their organization, that they have all the applications necessary and can work with whatever devices. Again, if it's a if it's a desktop, laptop, tablet, or smartphone, that they can do that in a secure manner where they don't have to worry about um, uh, any security risks whatsoever. And the same goes for the organization um, as well. It's a, it's a good platform for for future proofing the organization, making sure there's business continuity. And um, as I mentioned earlier, they don't have to migrate, worry about, hey, did I make the right uh, investment? Did I make the right decision? Did I buy a solution here, which two or three years from now later have to change out? Yeah, yeah, sure. a few kind of solutions one that you've built yourself around the onboarding uh, another that you've kind of gone to other carriers and, and sorted out the life cycle management of devices is there any other solutions that you guys have got coming down the line that maybe you want to talk about now yeah definitely uh as i mentioned uh europe is kind of like the the foreshadow of, of what we're going to launch here in the us um, we've launched uh, in europe very successfully a, a tool called the eSIM business manager a little bit of a, a play on words of Apple Business Manager. Um, but what the eSIM Business Manager allows is for organizations to leverage a secure method via their mobile device management platform to securely deliver eSIM profiles and carrier rate plans onto mobile eSIM capable devices in conjunction with MDM to make sure that only managed devices will get uh, a, a phone number activated um, on the corporate rate plan rather than unmanaged uh, devices. And that, of course, eliminates also a lot of waste and security risk. Gone are the days where um, a physical SIM card had to be shipped out somewhere, hoping it would not get intercepted. Um, it avoids uh, some of the malicious activities of SIM jacking, um, making two-factor authentication via SMS a risk out there as well. And ultimately, it, uh, it provides a true out of the box onboarding experience where an employee or an end user can get a device, a mobile device, and uh, we'll get it deployed and activated by and managed by VMware Workspace ONE and their carrier in one fell swoop out there. <laughs> that sounds brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. In, in my mind, we're just replaying the stages that I had to go through in older <laughs> organizations to just achieve that. And it was it was like jumping through, uh, jumping through hoops, uh, multiple hoops. Okay, Thomas, so if you're going to just uh, sum up then, why would a customer kind of look at EBF and, you know, what's the unique value proposition that you're proposing and would bring to a customer? No, definitely. So 
uh, we're a niche or we're a boutique consultancy IT services firm, uh, at least to my knowledge, not too many organizations focus on enterprise mobility and security like we've done over the past 27 years. Um, we combine the expertise from working with telco carriers and with uh, modern digital workplace platform providers like uh, VMware, uh, and we can offer multiple uh, services that help the customer achieve, achieve success. Again, we have the expertise, we keep up with all the certifications, we have a holistic and agnostic view of the marketplace. Again, with the EBF onboard and migration tool, we see migrations going from all sorts of places. So we see what's relevant for our customers and what's irrelevant in some retrospect. And uh, our customers will get a truly agnostic, uh, best case scenario uh, consultancy from us. They can consume a lot of services, all the services with regards to the life cycle man uh, device lifecycle management from us, or just bits and pieces that they uh, deem necessary to make the picture whole for them. And it sounds like a, a great solution. So lastly, just to wrap up then, how can customers actually find out more about EBF and, and uh, reach out to you guys? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the first step is, of course, find us on the web at ebf.com. Stands for Ernie Birds and Friends. <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> but uh, also feel free to reach out to us at sales at ebf.com. Thomas, thank you very much for your time today. It's been a pleasure to listen to you talk about EBF and the offerings you have. Um, I'm certainly excited. It sounds like a fantastic solution set you've got. Wish you all luck. Thank you, Guy. Been a pleasure. <laughs>